Simple science. What are hormones? Hormones are chemical messengers produced by the endocrine system that help regulate and control bodily processes and functions. The endocrine system is made up of a number of glands or groups of cells that secrete hormones which are transported through the blood to target cells where they bind to receptors producing changes in the way the target cells function. The different glands of the endocrine system are the hypothalamus, pituitary and pineal glands in the brain, the thyroid and parathyroid glands in the neck, the thymus, pancreas and adrenal glands, and the gonads consisting of the ovaries in females and the testes in males. These glands are regulated by feedback mechanisms that tell the glands when to secrete hormones. For example, the pancreas contains groups of cells called the islets of Langerhans that secrete the hormones insulin and glucagon which control the level of glucose in the blood. When the level of glucose in the blood is high, for example, after we have eaten a meal, insulin is secreted, which promotes the removal of glucose from the blood and its storage as glycogen in the liver and muscles. However, when the blood glucose level is low, for example, between meals, glucagon is secreted, which has the opposite effect of raising the level of glucose in the blood. By responding to fluctuations in blood glucose levels in these ways, the pancreas moderates the fluctuations, helping to maintain a steadier level of glucose in the blood. In some cases, the secretion of hormones by glands is controlled by hormones released by other glands. For example, the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland produces thyroid stimulating hormone which stimulates the thyroid gland to produce the hormone thyroxin. Thyroxin increases metabolic rate or the rate at which cells consume energy and promotes growth and development. The pituitary gland is influenced by the hypothalamus gland which releases hormones that can stimulate or inhibit hormone production in the pituitary. The hypothalamus is itself inhibited by thyroxin, resulting in a negative feedback loop that allows the body to regulate the level of thyroxin and so maintain a steady metabolic rate.